Mighty God, listen. I have such a profound message for you today. It's something that has truly been burning in my heart for such a a long time now. Listen, it's something me and my husband taught on a topic about um, when people say rest in peace. And we really dove in because there's so many people, y'all, who are out here who are so confused about eternity. Even those who call themselves believers, kingdom citizens, they are so unaware of what the Bible says about eternity. So listen, I pray that you hang out with me to the end of this uh, word. It's, it's a little bit lengthy, but I want, and, and for you giving your time and attention, I want to give you a, a powerful free gift. Listen, so I want you to st- st- just hang out to the end. And I also want to pray for you. Listen, I know you saw the title, the unfiltered truth about eternity. The topic few discuss but everyone, hear me, will face. Listen, this is such a non-talked about topic and it has been packaged so fleshly, y'all, and and been so watered down till it's lost its potency to convict the hearts of man to, to repentance. Listen, I said this in another video. We must only measure our life through the lens of the word of God, not people, not personalities, but the truth, only the truth that will make us free and give us, hear me, godly wisdom, not worldly wisdom, godly wisdom and and understanding. Listen, y'all, death is inevitable. So why are so many people playing Russian roulette with their eternal destination? Hear me, y'all. In case no one loved you enough to tell you the truth, I do and I will. There's only, hear me, y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. And I want y'all to get this. There is only two destinations, heaven or hell. Listen, let's, let's, let's dive in. Heaven doesn't accept everybody. I know this, listen, this is what society and even the church paints it and and tries to make you believe, but that's so untrue. It does. Heaven does not accept everyone. Hell accepts anybody who forsook the Lord and his will for them on earth. And hell, hear me, y'all, enlarges itself for those who do. Heaven does not. Why? Because Those who surrender and live the life God intended for them on earth are already written in the Lamb's book of life. Their names are already there. Revelation 20, 15 says, and if anyone was not found written, hear me, it's already written in the book of life. He was hurled into the lake of fire. What is the lake of fire? It is Sheol. It is called hell. Listen, see, heaven... Heaven's account, y'all, has already been established. Hell's was not and has not. Because why? Humans, human beings were never meant to go there, y'all. That was never the Lord's will. And I need you in your leisure to go and read 2 Peter 3, 8 through 13. And matter of fact, if you go into the description, you will see all of these scriptures there. Listen, I promise you, you want to study to show thyself approved. Listen. However, hear me, because he never made it, he, it was never the Lord's will for any of us to go there. He is so merciful. He, he wishes that none would perish, but that we will all come to a place of repentance, y'all. He gives us in his mercy and his grace and his love and all of He gives us an opportunity. Somebody say opportunity to choose him in this life. Isaiah 5, 14 says this, therefore Sheol, the realm of the dead has increased, hear me, I said it enlarges itself. It has increased its appetite and opened its mouth mouth beyond measure. And Jerusalem's splendor, her multitude, her boisterous uproar and her drunken revelers descend into it. Listen, This verse conveys the idea that hell is expanding. Hear me, I said it, y'all, to accommodate those who are destined for it due to their, here we go, rebellion against God here in this earth. Listen, 
Don't take my word for it, y'all. There are several other scriptures that address the criteria for who will, not, not what the TV is telling you, not what the, even the church is telling you, not what a lot of these folks on social media is trying to paint. Who, what is the criteria? Who will actually enter heaven and who won't? Listen, Matthew 7, 21 through 23 says, not everyone, hear me, who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only, listen, it's not, it's not a, it's not a maybe, it's an only, only he who does the will of my father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day when I judge them, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Sounds like the church, right? And driven out demons in your name. Sounds like the church, right? And done many miracles in your name. Because see, his name has all power. Regardless of the person, his name has all power. And then I will declare to them, hear me, not in secret, publicly, that I never knew you. This is what he's going to say. Depart from me. You are banished from my presence. You who act wickedly, mighty God, disregarding my commands. Lord, y'all, please, 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 please don't let this be you. This passage emphasizes that simply acknowledging Jesus as Lord is not enough. It requires the doing of the will of God. Listen, y'all, another key scripture is John 14 and 6, where Jesus says, Jesus said to them, I am the only way is not, listen, is no other way. Don't let these people out here fool you. There is no other way to God and the real truth and the real life. No one comes to the father, but through him but through Jesus Christ. So don't be, listen, don't be dismayed. Don't, don't get into all of this other stuff that's out here floating around telling you can do any and everything to get to heaven. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Listen, this verse underscores the belief that faith in Jesus Christ, hear me, Jesus Christ is essential for entry into heaven. Additionally, Y'all, this rocked my world. I've read it so many times, but I've, when I read it this time, it really just shook me. Revelations 21 and 8, I told you we have to measure our life according to the word of God. It states this. Revelations 21 and 8 states, but as for cowards, those are the ones who would not stand up for Christ, who would not live for Christ, who would not speak for Christ, who all of that and unbelieving, hear me, and abominable. Who are the abominable? They are devoid of character. Listen, y'all, we got to get our character right. It's not about your gift. And he said devoid of character and personal integrity. How many people do we know? Can we even look at our own life where we said we have not been integral in some areas? We need to fix that, y'all, because it will keep us out of heaven and practice or not doing it, it says, or tolerate immorality. So are you tolerating this stuff that people says is okay, that you know is against the word of God? He says, even your toleration of it will cause you not to enter into heaven. And murderers and sorcerers, hear me, y'all who want to smoke weed and all of this stuff on the side and do all this drinking and all of this stuff. It says, and sorcerers, Hear me what, a, what, is called, what the Bible calls a sorcerer. One with intoxicating drugs and idolaters and occultists are the occultists. Those who practice and teach false religions. There are so many false religions, so many things out here that people are saying is the Lord is good and, and, and this is the way. And it's not. It said that, it said that they are idolaters and occultists. And all liars here. Oh my God, this is a heavy one, y'all. If we find ourselves twisting the truth, deceiving people, deceiving ourselves, whatever, trying to deceive God, what? Listen, he said, those are things that will keep you out of heaven. He said, their part, hear me what it says, their part will, not might, not maybe, will be the lake that blazes with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Listen, so he's saying, hell. Yes, hell, Sheol is the portion of those who choose this way. This passage, y'all, speaks to the, the fate of those who reject God and live. Not that you sin and say, Lord, forgive me, but a perpetual sin. He said, you work, those that work 
iniquity, those who just live in that place of, of sin, of sin at all times. Listen, that should not be our way. Listen, I'm, I'm closing right here, y'all. I feel the Holy Ghost, the conviction of God coming upon someone who is listening to me on today. Listen, do not leave here. Do not leave here without really taking this to heart. Listen. If this word spoke to you, I need you right now, right now to drop down in the comment section and say, I choose heaven. Listen, this message is a call to wake up to the reality of eternity, not the lies and the deception and all the stuff that has been paraded as this is what's going to happen after life. All of these lying religions and all these different things that people have made up because it's only a, it's, 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 it's coming out from straight from the pits of hell to deceive you, to get you to go to this place that is enlarging self as I speak. Listen, don't let the distractions of this world or the sugar-coated teachings of today lead you astray. The choices, hear me y'all, we make now determine our eternal destination, heaven or hell. I urge you, I urge you, I urge you by the mercies of God to measure your life through the lens of God's word, not the fleeting opinions of man. If this truth has stirred you don't ignore it. Seek God. Repent. Align your life with his will. Eternity, y'all, is too important to gamble with. I beckon you to choose ye this day who you will serve. Quickly, 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 because time, the curtain is closing, y'all. Listen, and I told you at the end of this, I told you if you stayed here to the end of this video, I want as a thank you, I want to give you a free gift from me. Three ways to identify your real destiny helper. See, listen, what I just did for you was help you to understand something that's pertinent in this life. So yes, I'm, I would be considered a destiny helper. I'm trying to help you to get from where you are to the place that God has intended for your life. So listen, in this critical hour, it's vital to stop wasting time, time on relationships that produce nothing but flesh and distractions. You got to learn quickly, y'all, in this hour, how to recognize who the Lord not not people who the Lord has sent to help you fulfill your kingdom assignments and reach your destiny. Listen, if you want that free download, click the link right there in the profile. Three ways to identify your real destiny helpers. Listen, this will also serve as a point of contact so you can stay informed about all the upcoming free advanced kingdom training sessions coming to a city near you. I don't want you to miss out on any circumstances stances here. Listen, I love you all. Prophetess Tisha Ricks here. I need you to go share, share, share as much as you can. Get this word out. Share this word with everybody. Listen, I love you all for real. www.tisharicksministries.com. Listen, I want to pray for you real quick. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, everybody under the sound of my voice, Holy Ghost, I pray that the, the, that, that the conviction of the Lord comes upon those who are hearing, who are listening, Lord, who are, who have been, who have not understood the real, have not had the real understanding of their eternal destination and what it takes to get to either heaven or hell. Father, I pray right now that you disseminate, that, that all the falsehood disintegrates to day and that they come to a place of repentance and that they begin to walk with you, that they begin to gauge their life according to what the word of God says, that we begin to reflect your, your character and, and integrity and all those things, Father, that you have written in your word and that our names will be found in the Lamb's book of life. Father, today we repent, we come back to you and come away from everything that has tried to lead us astray. Father, we love you, we honor you, and we praise you. And I thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice. Listen, I love you all. Have a blessed rest of your day.